Hello and welcome back to my channel. If not back, then just welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a brand review for Glossier. I feel like Glossier is kind of having a moment here on YouTube, but I thought that it would be cool to come on and talk about Glossier as someone who has used Glossier for years now. I think I started using Glossier in either 2014 or 2015. Full disclosure, I am a Glossier rep, so that means that I make a commission from sales that are generated through my rep link, which I will obviously have linked in the description box below, but I don't get paid for sponsored content. You know, Glossier doesn't pay me up front to make a video to talk about them. I also don't get paid through clicks for my site. It's literally only if you make a purchase through my link that I will make any sort of money. So now that that's out the way, um, what drew me to Glossier was they really stood out and still do stand out in the beauty specter. Specter? No sector. <laughs> they really stand out in the beauty sector as far as it being a beauty line that caters to both skincare and makeup. I have used a wide spectrum of Glossier products both in the skincare and makeup side of things. Also I recognize that since I'm going to be reviewing a lot a lot of products that it's going to be a very long video so if you are only interested in um, a specific product I will have in the description box down below a timestamp of when I talk about that product. Some of these prices may sound a little steep but I think you have to keep in mind that Glossier is more of a prestige brand. So I mean, keep that in mind when taking my opinion into consideration. Glossier's motto is skincare first, makeup second. So let's go ahead and do it in that order. Um, things I think that you should know about my skin before I go into this. I definitely have oil, oily skin that gets congested. I don't get pimples, but I do get blackheads. I deal with hyperpigmentation. I don't have sensitive skin and I have enlarged pores. I think that's it. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into this review. Uh, the first thing up is the priming moisturizer. I have never had a full size of this because every time you place an order, you have an opportunity to have um, a free sample of either the priming moisturizer or the milky jelly cleanser. I always choose the priming moisturizer. I don't use it as a moisturizer. I use it as a primer. So I enjoy using the priming moisturizer after my actual uh, moisturizer just as a sort of like blurring agent. It's really weird since it is dewy, you would think that it would enhance the pores as most dewy things do, but something about the ingredients in here, it helps camouflage my pores, um, doesn't make them disappear, but definitely makes them look a lot smaller without me having to mattify my face. The size of the actual product is 1.7 ounces or 50 milliliters and it retails for $22. It's the perfect sort of like put on your face and leave type of product. Next up we have the Milky Jelly Cleanser. The Milky Jelly Cleanser can be used on a dry skin as a makeup remover or on wet skin as like a skin cleanser. It doesn't make my face feel clean and it's not the consistency of it. I do have, I have used other like gel type cleansers before that actually feel like they're cleansing my face. This just kind of feels like it's creating a, a barrier on top of my skin, which is not the feeling that you want to have after washing your face. The full size product is six ounces or 177 milliliters and it retails for $18. If you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, maybe it's something you would look into, but if you have oily skin or oily combination skin, I would steer clear. Next up we have the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. I have a full video review of this product that I will leave in the info cards above. So go ahead and check that out if you are interested in a very in-depth review of this product. But this is Holy Grail sunscreen. It's lightweight, it's like a serum, and it doesn't leave a white cast, which, hallelujah. It's broad spectrum SPF 35. The full size product is one fluid ounce and it retails for $34. Do I recommend this product? Absolutely. Next up we have the Balm.com. This is like an all over uh, face and body salve. It's very thick. Um, think Vaseline but not as greasy. It can be used for chapped lips, dry knuckles, um, cracked cuticles. Any place where your skin needs some extra TLC is where you would want to apply the Balm.com. It comes in a variety of flavors and colors. This one here is the Birthday Balm.com, which is kind of like a pink iridescent color, and it smells like birthday cake. It also comes in mint, coconut, rose, cherry, and plain. 
I absolutely love this stuff. I need to stock up on some more as winter is coming. Uh, my personal favorites are the cherry, the rose, and the birthday cake, just because I like that they have a little bit of a tint to them. So it's like um, the most hydrating tinted lip balm that you can think of. The full size product is 0.5 ounces or 15 milliliters and it retails for $12 or you can get it in a set of three for $30. Do I recommend this product? Absolutely. And I recommend that you get the three pack because that way you can stock up on either your favorite flavor or try some different scents and flavors. Next we have the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. This is a face, face? This is a face mask. It is a clay-based face mask. I have two. This one is their detoxifying face mask. As someone with oily skin, I like something that is going to really help draw out the excess oil from my pores. It's not as harsh as, say, like a Glam Glow. It doesn't even feel as harsh as a homemade bentonite clay or Russell clay face mask. It's very gentle, plus the packaging is pretty cute. The full size on this product is 3 ounces or 90 milliliters and it retails for $22. I recommend this if you have a sensitive skin but still want to try a detoxifying clay mask. There's nothing about it that's so worthy of writing home about that I feel like you should drop $22 on it. Um, it would be much more cost effective to just buy a tub of clay, either bentonite clay or Russell clay, or there's a myriad of clays out there that you can get from Amazon. Um, so if you don't have sensitive skin, I would recommend doing that instead because of the price point. Now moving on to the makeup. So at the beginning of this video, you saw my Glossier box. This is the box that you get when you purchase the phase one set. As you can see, I find this box to be very handy because it's where I keep all of my Glossier products which is basically all of my everyday makeup. So I just grab this box and I'm ready to go with all of my products that I will be using for the day. So I mean, if you're like me and you end up purchasing the phase one set more than one time, you will have more than one box, but it's a nice box. So you can use it for other things. A little bit of a reduce reuse situation. I will say the Glossier complexion products leave something to be desired. They don't have a wide variety of, of shades, which is fine considering how sheer most of their products are. However, if you are like me, I feel like I have tan skin with a very yellow undertone, which I don't think is uncommon in black people, but I feel like makeup brands think that it's uncommon in black people for some reason and it's really hard to find something that is tan with a yellow undertone as opposed to tan with a red undertone with a, a warm undertone that leans like orange. My skin is not that anomalous. I feel like I have a very boring middle of the road skin tone so. So I have two of their concealers. I have it in the shade dark and I have it in the shade deep. Dark is the shade that I use for for brightening my under eyes and then I have deep which I use to um like conceal the redness around my nose. I don't think it's very good for covering up blemishes. It's more so better for uh like color correct color correcting kind of like it hides my dark circles pretty well. It hides my redness pretty well. It conceals the redness from breakouts pretty well but it doesn't really cover up any scarring. And it's definitely not for like a full beat kind of like highlight and contour situation. Another con, like I said, is that it comes in these like weird shades. The dark is not dark. The dark is very much medium. I feel like the deep is very much dark. And I haven't seen the rich, but I feel like the rich is very deep and they don't have an actual like rich shade. I can't attest to the lighter shades because I don't have lighter skin. So it is also a very dewy concealer. So I don't like to take it too far down um, here because it will enhance my pores. The size for this is 0.17 ounces or 0.48 grams. Do I recommend this product? If you like a dewy, no makeup makeup look, yes. But if you are actually interested in concealing blemishes, then no. Next up, we have the boy brow. Boy brow, 
How do I love thee? Let me count all of the ways. This is holy grail eyebrow status. I don't like a lot of muss and fuss with my eyebrows. I also like my eyebrows to have the individual hair strokes of my eyebrow. It comes in four different shades, blonde, brunette, black, and clear. I also have a video on this product here that I will leave up in the um, the info cards where I show you my actual brow routine. It's not necessarily a volumizing product because it doesn't have any fibers in it. It's just basically a colored wax. It's a colored pomade for your brows, but it's the best that I've come across. And I've used a lot of different brow mascaras, drugstore and higher end. Nothing compares to this. It doesn't flake. It doesn't, since it doesn't have any fibers in it, it doesn't leave any like weird spidery type of things on my face. It's so nice and it lasts a very long time. Like I said, I put this on my brows every single day and this tube lasted me three months. The full size of this product is 0.11 ounces or 3.12 grams and it retails for $16. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. They have a subscription service. You should subscribe to it get you a backup. If you don't get anything else, I promise you, you will not regret getting this. If you're brow obsessed, but you like an easy brow, you like a feathered brow, you have to try this product. Next, we have the Generation G Lipsticks. It's very much like a matte tinted lip balm and it's easy to apply, it's sheer. So you can apply it without a mirror and don't have to worry about it like smearing all over your face or anything like that. If you are of a darker complexion, I recommend getting the brighter colors. I'm wearing Zip right now. The full size of this product is 0.07 ounces or 2 grams and it retails for $18. Do I recommend this product? Not really. Um, It's nice, but it's nothing to write home about. Like I said, it's just like a matte tinted lip balm. I don't think it's worth $18. If it were like $10 then sure but $18 nearly $20 for a tinted lip balm that's a little it's a little much to me. Next we have the Halo Scope. So the Halo Scope is their highlighting stick. The outer rim of it has the actual color and then inside there is an oil core. This is the kind of highlight that's very subtle, very dewy. It's more dewy than say shimmery there's no sort of like glitter or anything like that. It adds a nice just sheen to the face. I have it in the shade Topaz, which is a nice bronze color. The only thing about this is that in the summertime, for me and my oily skin, this is very, very oily. It has that center core of coconut oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, a lot of oils. So in the summertime when I'm hot, <laughs> it can be very greasy looking. But for the cooler months, I really enjoy this. I like how dewy it looks. I wanna get some more shades. Topaz on my skin is just basically like a glossy version of my skin. So I wanna try some of the other shades for a more dramatic highlight. The full size of this product is 0.19 ounces or 5.5 grams and it retails for $22. If you enjoy a subtle highlight, um, if you enjoy a highlight that's more of a dew than a shine, then I definitely recommend this product. Next we have the Cloud Paint Blushes. This is another product where I have a full video on it so I will Leave that in the info cards up above. These are liquid blushes, which I feel like is kind of a unique formula. There are quite a few cream blushes, but not very many liquid blushes. And I would say the main difference would be the finish. This, like most of Glossier's products, it's gonna leave you looking a little bit dewy, a little bit, um, have more of a glow to it than say a cream blush that will have more of a matte finish. My absolute favorite color, which you can probably tell from how dirty it is, is Dusk. Dusk is like, like a dusty peach color. It's deep. It's a neutral tone. It's just so pretty. It's my go-to um, everyday blush. The uh, size of those are 0.33 ounces or 10 milliliter or 10 milliliters and they retail for $18. I highly recommend that you try Dusk if you're going to try one of these products. Next up we have the Wowder. I have it in the shade Dark Deep. 
I also have the Wouter brush. It comes in three shades, light, medium, deep, dark, and rich. If you are of a deeper complexion, there is an option for you. Whereas most setting powders, I feel like stop like right at my skin tone, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm new to the world of setting powder, so I don't have like a large opinion um, on them. The only other one that I've tried and liked has been the Laura Mercier setting powder. But I have noticed that that one, the Laura Mercier, if I go in too heavy handed, can leave me looking kind of cakey. I can't really get cakey with this wilder. There's something about it that even though it mattifies me, it doesn't leave me flat. It doesn't leave me looking like two dimensional. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the packaging. I don't, I don't understand it. So it has like a mesh sifter instead of like a plastic sifter with holes. And then um, the top has this weird insert in it so you can't really like pour powder into the top and swirl your brush and then buff. I also really enjoy this brush. It's fluffy but it's dense so the so there's actual coverage with the powder. You're not just kind of like throwing dust all over the place. So I really enjoy this brush. I actually enjoy the brush a little bit more than the powder. The full size of this product is 0.25 ounces or 7.2 grams and it retails for $35. It's a nice powder. I don't know that I recommend it over the Laura Mercier powder. Uh, and I haven't really experimented with many drugstore setting powders, but I kind of also don't want to because they're so finicky and I feel like you can spend a lot of money experimenting trying to find a setting powder that works, especially the deeper your skin tone is. So I would recommend the Wilder setting powder, yes. So the next product that I'm gonna talk about is their lip gloss. I have their lip gloss, I love their lip gloss, but it's not in this video because I can't find it. Before the Fenty lip gloss came out, it was my favorite because it's just so wet looking, so shiny, so absolutely glossy, but it's not sticky. I don't know how these companies continue to do that. They continue to make these lip glosses that look like thick old school honey glosses, but they aren't sticky and they're just so pretty like oh I think it's one of those formulas that it like looks one way but adjusts to your pH level so it looks a little different on everybody it's not a pure clear gloss um but it's definitely not pigmented if that makes any sense at all I don't think it does it also has vitamin E in it so it is actually moisturizing your lips. The full size of the product is 0.14 ounces or 4.2 milliliters and it retails for $14. Glosses are making a comeback. I feel like everybody's a little bit over the liquid matte lips and this is a good gloss to invest in. Just don't be like me and don't lose it. And then the last product that I'm going to talk about is going to be the Perfecting Skin Tint. I hate this product. I hate it. Maybe if you have dry skin, maybe if you have perfect, blemish-free, yet dry skin, this will be a product for you. It claims that it has like diamond dust or something in it and that it blurs your pores and all this other kind of stuff. It, it doesn't. It does nothing. I wish I had it so I could show you how nothing it does, but I don't. I threw it away and I was upset because it's $26. It enhanced my pores. It covered up nothing. Um, I've already uh, talked about their shade range. So the dark made me look a little ashen. It just, it feels like, it feels like a lip gloss, but for your entire face. And I can't speak to anyone else, but that's not necessarily a look that I'm going for. Like even when I'm going for like, yes, such high fashion, gloss shine skin. I just put gloss like actual gloss on my face and the places where I want it to be glossy. This is never an area. This is never an area. This is never an area that I want to just be like shiny for no reason. Out of all of Glossier's products this is the one that I wish that they would just scrap and like try again because I don't understand the purpose of it. Or maybe come out with another formula for people with oilier skin types and more textured skin. The full size of that product is one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters and it retails for $26. Do I recommend it? 
absolutely not. Don't, don't do it. Don't touch it. Don't go there. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Their most recent release is a perfume called Glossy AU. Um, I made a purchase, got another one of those boy brows and it came with a sample of it. It smells good. It smells spicy, but fresh. I'm really bad with scents and adjectives. I don't know how to describe this perfume. I just know that it smells good and it doesn't make me smell like ammonia like some perfumes do. Um, but it's $60 and you can't smell it anywhere. So that's risky. I would not spend $60 on a perfume that I couldn't go and like smell. And um, this, the perfume is also not available to ship in the UK and Canada, I think. It can't go to certain places. I think right now it can only go to like the continental United States. But it's just really weird to release a fragrance without it being accessible to people to try um, to make sure that they like it. So there's that. That is my full review of the brand Glossier. Overall, if you are a no makeup makeup fan, if you are a My Skin But Better fan, or if you are into moisturizing skincare, I say check out Glossier. I really love this brand. Even though some of their products are hits and misses, when they do have a hit, they really knock it out of the park. If there is a product that I didn't touch on that you are interested in hearing a review about, Leave it in the comment section down below and I will pick it up during my uh, next Glossier purchase and get back to you with that. As always, thank you so, so very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you that stuck through me throughout this rambly video. <laughs> Till next time. Bye, guys.